Most dog owners experience their dogs howling from time to time. Sometimes it's done as a reaction to something in the dog's environment, and sometimes is for reasons that we just can't seem to put our finger on. So what's the deal, why do German Shepherds howl? Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique guide is in the description below. German Shepherds are descended from wolves, and there is a space in the primitive part of their brains that instinctually recalls some of their ancestors' behaviors, and howling is one of them. 1. Separation Anxiety when your GSD howls while you are away, it is essentially crying out for you to return home. Simply put, it loves you and it misses you, and your absence causes it anxiety, so it wants you to come back home. Furthermore, when your dog is howling while you are away, upon your return your dog will feel as though its howling was successful. You were gone, it howled, maybe even all day, but you returned. That's a success in your dog's mind. This will only motivate your dog to continue this behavior when you leave the next time. Your dog needs to vent somehow, and they typically choose to chew something up in your absence when out of anxiety. 2. Defining its territory. Howling for a German Shepherd can at times be a way to warn others that they may be encroaching on its territory. It's a signal to other dogs or any other animals present that if they I'm any closer to the source of the howl, that the dog is ready to engage with them. This behavior also originated from wolves and has been specifically analyzed. In a study conducted by Fred H. Harrington and David Meech from the Division of Biological Sciences at the State University of New York, they found that howling played an important role in keeping their young away from danger and also to safeguard their kills. 3. Howling for attention. This type of howling is very similar to a child crying out simply because it wants your attention. This is not a product of the dog being injured or in need of food, water, or anything else central to its survival. Of course, a strong argument can be made that your attention is actually essential to your dog's well-being, so this is your dog's way of letting you know that it needs your attention. 4. Howling in response to a sound. You may have found that your GSD often howls in response to another sound. While it is amusing to watch and listen to, you dog isn't doing this just to be cute. You know how it goes with German Shepherds, they will begin with their famous head tilt, followed by that look in their eyes, you will then notice their lips began to quiver a bit, and you know what's coming next. 5. Sirens. You may have noticed that as soon as your dog hears a siren, that siren commands your dog's attention. There is a common misunderstanding that the sound of a loud siren hurts your dog's ears. This seems to make sense because sirens are typically pretty loud and a passing firetruck with blaring sirens can actually be a bit painful for us humans to listen to. So based on layperson science, many people assume that since dogs have a much more keen sense of hearing than we do, that these siren sounds must be excruciating to them. But this is simply not true. Since your dog is not howling before it hears a siren, clearly it's not sending out the signal that it's lonely. So this leads to the conclusion that when your dog hears a siren it howls to communicate, go away. And, given the fact that most sirens do in fact go away, as the emergency vehicles are typically en route to somewhere else than the location of the dog, the dog feels successful in its efforts to divert the siren from the area. They then feel as though they have accomplished something. So this leads your dog to howl over and over each time it hears a siren. 6. Howling for pain. Often if a person is injured in some way or another, they express themselves by crying, shouting, or cursing. Howling is also sometimes a dog's equivalent of a human crying out in pain. So if your dog is howling and you are unable to figure out why, it's important that you do some further investigating. Sometimes a dog's injuries are not very apparent to us, and they do require a closer look. So if you suspect that your dog may be injured, take a close for any places on your dog's body where it may have been struck by something. Also closely examine its paws and use your fingers to go through its fur to see if there are any open cuts. 
If you are unable to locate any physical injury on your dog and it is still howling for some unknown reason, especially if the howling is when the dog is being touched, do not just assume that it is not an injury of some sort. It is important at this point to contact your veterinarian and have your dog given a thorough checkup. As mentioned, some injuries can easily be missed, and only the trained eye of a veterinarian will be able to understand the cause of them. 7. Howling due to loneliness. Dog owners sometimes view their dogs simply as a deterrent for intruders and nothing more. They neglect to see that their dogs need attention, so the dogs trapped in these situations are literally howling because they are lonely. 8. Howling to communicate with other dogs. This is one of the most common reasons that your dog will howl, to communicate with other dogs. As we all know, dogs are incredibly social animals, and they crave interaction with other people and other dogs. As much as we may find our dogs howling entertaining, and it often is for both you and your dog, make sure that you understand the reasons behind why it is howling. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Like and comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.